Hello and good morning, it's Tanya from Tati's Treasures. Thank you for being here today. So, it's a lazy Saturday and I remember when I did the last lazy, let's flip through a book, I didn't have a copy of Nature Notes because as we all know, um, all the prices for most books, most popular books went absolutely sky high. Um, and the other week I did manage just to get a copy of this in fact yesterday I managed to get another copy hopefully it will arrive sometimes you buy stuff and then the message is saying oh sorry it's not available because they've realized that <clears throat> the price is actually a lot higher at the moment than they've charged you um, so fingers crossed um, I will get that um, I only ever have one of these i've never <laughs> had two um because these ones just seem harder to get hold of and they're always um more expensive and i'm wondering if not as many copies of this was made so that obviously drives the force up, uh, force up um price up anyway so i thought we'd start with september because the other ones I, th I don't know if we just looked through uh, the autumn ones, but I thought maybe um, these people who, who have never seen this copy. So I thought we'll start off with autumn. Then if you've seen this copy before or whatever, you can turn off. And if you haven't, we'll have a clip, quick flip through. So we'll start on September which has got these beautiful poppies in a hay field and these cheeky little bunnies having their tea. Now if you've not seen this book before you'll notice straight away that the text is different to uh, the country garden. Country garden? Country diary. Um, that doesn't bother me at all because you've still got really nice coloured pages the really thick good quality uh, so for the backs of tags and things like that it's absolutely perfect um yeah you know it's not as stunning as the diary one but um you know a lot of the poems and that are in there it begins with i i want to say italic anyway um, I've not been up long, <laughs> so excuse me for uh, loss of words and things like that. So let's have let's have a flip through. So here's a picture of the moors. The moors are beautiful when when you go at the right time of year and all the heathers are out, um, especially when there's quite a few, you know, that you can see quite a few uh, of the fields. Um, it's it's a beautiful sight um, and near where we live in Derbyshire, well, it's quite far into Derbyshire, um, there's a beautiful place really high up um, and that's got lots of moors, it's very, very nice. So I've got a nice poem here, again, in the, I want to say italics again. <laughs> I could be saying the right word, but I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. So we've got some writing, some lovely horse chestnuts. Love them. Absolutely fabulous leaves, aren't they? And you know what they are when, when you see <coughs> those leaves. I'm not sure if everybody has, has these in their country, or if, I mean, to me, they're a British tree, but... Um, yeah, let me know. Yeah, what you know, in other countries and that, um, what are your traditional kinds of trees? Um, you know, what you would see in a wood. Um, yeah, I love trees, love looking at them, and you know, you can visit the same tree all through the year, and it's so different to, to look at. Some sweet chestnuts. They're nice leaves as well. And so when normally when we've gone walking in the woods and that, um, you see people collecting all the, all the chestnuts. 
So yeah, they're cute. Got some berries. Like that picture. Fruit of the Hawthorn. So the patina on the on the pages is really really nice in this book. <clears throat> then October, that's a stunning picture with the with the kingfishers, and then you can see a lake here, and the reflection of the tree is really lovely colours. So soft. This background stunning. And some more berries of of the elder tree. Um. Oh, I mean, just turn the volume down and like um thingy majiggy. So yeah, my mum's been picking elderberries this year and she's made well she's making some elderberry jelly. So she's been off work all through um the lockdown. <clears throat> Their company hasn't well she, I can't say she's working from home. Um, she's still at work, but she's at home. So it means she's got lots more time on her hands. Um, and she's turned into, you know, a forager. Um, she's been collecting, well, we've had apple pies. We've had apple jellies. Um, oh, what was... She's picked some sloan berries and she's making sloan gin. She made blackberry and something jam. <coughs> um, she's making some wine. So, yeah, she's been very busy. This super duper. Um, I've used that on a cover as a file folder. Really nice. Love the reddish ginger against the, against the green. And some acorns. Such a shame that um, the pictures, you know, double, double up. Green finches. I've never seen a green finch. We get gold finches. But, um, yeah, I've never seen a green finch. But, obviously, they're, they're British. But, um, yeah, it must only be in certain certain parts or, or something. So yeah, that's a beautiful picture. They look very like the goldfinch. Got the got the same beak. Some apple. Oh, and wild slow. Is it slow or slow? I think it's slow, isn't it? Um, slow gin. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's a nice picture. Some lovely mushrooms. That make a nice cover. And all the different colours of the leaves. And so you could cut these out individual. Um, I mean, I like that picture, but I don't know, you know, unless you're using the whole picture, um, the whole page, um, just part of it would look a little bit odd. But, yeah, you could cut most of the single leaves out. Some young catkins. Oh, look at November. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely colours. Yeah, that's a linnet on a thistle seed. See, that looks like a gold finch. It does look like a type of finch. Have to look that one up. And bird table. And that's <clears throat> beautiful picture. And December. And that's very nice. Mistletoe and a great. Uh, we do get a couple of variety of tits on the on the garden. <coughs> Robin, that's kind of our traditional bird on Christmas cards and things like. Um, in America, you have the cardinals, so the robin is our Christmas um, kind of bird. Nice fox. 
Oh, lovely owl. Looks like she wasn't sure of what what owl it was because she, she's probably only seen seen the back of it. And some holly in the ivy. Hmm. So that's that. So we'll we'll just give it a quick. And this one's actually from from. Oh no, it's got the UK as well. Oh. Not seen that. Oh, lovely. Given to Gerald on his retirement by his friends at James Taylor. 1991. Oh, that's fab. I hope he enjoyed reading this in his retirement. So, January, I have done that as a, as a cover. That was beautiful. Gold crested wrens. Never seen those before. Winterberry's privet hips and haws. That's beautiful. I've done a cover with that as well. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> Love this one. It, it's so cute. Really cute. That's a nice picture as well. March. I say that's a song thrush. Nice sketch. And chaffinch. And a hedge sparrow. With some daffs. That's very nice. April. I've done a cover with that as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've just not looked in this book for, for a long time. So it's uh, bringing it back to me. Oh, Violet's. But Violet would love that one. Not sure if she's had this book or not. That's a beautiful picture as well. And lots of birds on there. I'm getting right into spring now. Daffodils, oh, that's pretty. House martins and swallows. Some sketches, love the nest and love the eggs. It's just, I don't know something about them. Yeah, it seems a lot more of these single, um, little drawings on these ones which are great if you want to uh, fussy cut and May the um the paints look a lot softer as well. I really do like the look of, um, the, I don't know how to explain it, the tone of the colours or something. But yeah, it's very, very muted. Look at this. Ugh, I don't like that. I have to cut that out. This is beautiful. That's very nice, isn't it? I know that's a popular um, picture. I've seen that many a time. This is beautiful. I think I did this in um, one of the pockets that I did in the 3 and 15. I think it was one of those ones where I joined um, the picture together. Yeah, I could remember cutting it out and thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe I've chopped into that. That's, that's stunning. And obviously we've got the fox glove in, in the country diary as well. Yeah, definitely a lot, lot softer. I wonder if that's 
to do it, you know, how they've copied it or I wonder if she had used a different um, paint or something, something like that. Yeah, I think that's why I do do like this book. And like I say, and I think there's more um, text pages. So for me, because I I really do like the pages, um, whatever. Like I say, there's lots of um, love that. Yeah, I've totally forgot what I was gonna say. Beautiful. lovely I won't talk about that what a nice mushroom to cut out oh that's beautiful oh but that's beautiful too <laughs> and this is why you need two books because if you're doing say if you're doing all you know a spring thing and you just want to take all the spring pages out then you know, you're going to have to make a lot of choices of which ones to use. So I find if you have two books, you can have every single picture then. And it obviously gives you a lot more um, choice, um, you know, as what to cut out for fussy cuts or use as pages and, and things like that. So that that is that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and anybody who's not seen it, I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm going to say it is one to keep your eye on, especially looking uh, price-wise and, and things like that. Um, so that is me. Thanks a lot for joining me. I shall speak to you very soon. Bye for now.